Let's face it, when it comes to mowing, some of us love doing it, some of us rather hire a lawn care company to do it. But if you're the type of person that loves mowing your lawn and you wish there was a solution to get done quicker, up to 40% faster, possibly, to where you could spend more time with your family, would you do it? Today we're going to tell you about the Toro Time Master 30 inch mower, go into some specs, show you this bad boy in action, and tell you all about it. So I would like to start off saying that Toro did send me this mower for review, however all thoughts and opinions of this mower are that of my own. So please note that I do love my Toro products, but everything in my opinion has a pro and a con. So we're gonna go over what I personally have con-wise on this mower as well. So let's jump into it. All right, so let's go over some things about this mower, tell you how exactly it works, go over some specs while we're doing this rundown. So the first thing about this mower is it is the Toro Personal Pace. So it does move at your pace. You just walk, push this handle down, and it will go up to a whopping four and a half miles per hour if you're willing to walk that fast I guess if you're going up a hill or going down a hill you can always hold on to this handle and go down the hill or if you're going up a hill and you don't want it jumping or slow and fast then you also have what they consider a traction handle here so you can grab a hold of this and keep it in that one spot to keep a consistent speed then you have your blade engagement here now this blade engagement is kind of nice because in order to engage the blades you have a little safety right here so you have to pull this up and then you can engage the blades by pulling this back very comfortable another good feature about this mower is while you're mowing if there's a stick or piece of trash or something in front of you that you need to stop to pick up when you let off this handle your blades shut off not the mower now this mower does have three options of mowing style you can bag you can mulch or you can side discharge so another great feature about this mower is if you are a taller person you have that option to raise this up now this has two settings this is the lowest setting which is about my waist and uh, this is most comfortable to me but if you're a taller person all you got to do is grab this pull it down and lift this up and it will move up into a higher position for you so we're going to go over some specs of this mower we're going to show you mulching some leaves we're going to show you side discharging uh, we're going to go through some thicker stuff and show you how awesome this mower is with 10 foot pounds of torque and 223 cc engine on this bad boy let me tell you something this thing has more torque than most commercial units uh, push mowers with the kawasaki engine so keep that in mind we're going to go over some stuff but let's get to showing you this thing in action all right so here's our vaughn we're going to be doing today and we are going to mulch some leaves up and show you how well these dual atomic blades on this mower mulch not only grass but leaves during the fall season toro also has a guaranteed to start briggs and stratton engine on this mower so you get a three year full warranty of this whole mower. Not just the engine, but the whole mower. Three full years. So guaranteed to start, usually one to two pulls. Let's find out.
mowers, if you decide that you need to stop to grab something, you don't have to shut this mower off. You can literally let go of the handle, it'll stay running, you can walk, pick up your sticks, whatever it may be, and go right back to mowing. Now, I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but that was quite a bit of leaves. We only made one pass on this, and uh, so you could only imagine if we were bagging what it would probably look like. So we're going to take this. This is mulching. Uh, we were, you know, go we weren't going too slow, but we weren't going too fast. Now this 30 inch mower will boast a speed of up to four and a half miles an hour if you're up to walking that fast and uh, cutting your lawn that fast. But let's bring you down here and we're going to throw the bagger on this and let's bag this right here uh probably two or three sh passes and see what kind of quality we get bagging wise and then we'll get in the bag and see what kind of clippings uh what they kind of look like being mulched up with this dual atomic blade system that toro has when it comes to installing the bag on this it's very easy all you do is lift this up and there's a handle right here but there's a slot and we'll show you that you push down on that slot pull out here's the slot right here then you take your bag and there's a notch on each side of this and you just slide your bag in them notches and you're ready to bag so we've already bagged this let's show you some clippings here of what this is going to look like mulched up I want you to look at this. This is, look at them, small clippings in there. Just, man, look at that. It's like dust almost. So most people's gonna take this mower and they're gonna mulch these leaves anyhow. But if you're the type of person that maybe you want a bag, well, you have that option. And with this big of a bag, you don't have to empty as much, which means you're gonna get more done quicker. All right, so here, I'm actually in a field. And uh, as you can tell, I mean, it's not nothing crazy tall, but most people ain't gonna let their lawn get like this. So we're gonna show you side discharge, we're gonna show you mulching, and we're gonna show you bagging in actual grass. is a pretty nice cut to be mulched now let's do a bag pass put the bagger on we'll bag two passes over this way and then we'll show you side discharge taking off two to three inches of grass in some of these areas so let's take a look and see what we got so we're bagging here nice two passes still got a whole bag left to go now let's do some side discharging so it comes with this and this is pretty much your guard for your side discharge here pretty easy to install you just lift this up there's a notch here and a notch here. And these notches line up to these. 
So you're just going to slide this in right there at it. And then these notches slide down in there. Now you're ready to side discharge. Quick, simple, easy. Show you what this bad boy will do. this mower is absolutely great at everything it does regardless of whether you're side discharging bagging or mulching even with leaves this mower works phenomenal let's talk about some specs show you some things about this mower but let's also talk about some cons now let's talk about this engine so you have your fuel tank here you have your air filter here no toolless right here so you can get to your air filter you guys think your exhaust and then I've actually even went as far as installing an hour meter so I know when my maintenance is due now one of the biggest features I love about this mower is you have a, a setting all the way through a G setting on the front and the back so instead of having to move each individual wheel you can actually adjust the height of this mower with only two handles so this handle adjusts the rear and this handle right here adjusts the front now the great thing about this mower is you can cut as low as one and a quarter inches high or if you like your fescue uh your saint augustine things like that cut it four inches this mower will actually go to four and a quarter inches which is uh, about a half inch above most push mowers that are 20 to 22 inches wide. So you're gonna get a higher cut level with this mower as well compared to other mowers on the market. All right, after you're done mowing, what better way to wash out from underneath your deck by just taking and hooking a hose up. Now this does come with the attachment that just slides right on here. It's a quick coupler pretty much and your hose attaches to that. So you attach it to your hose, quick couplet, turn your water on, start your mower, and then after your mower's running, engage the blades. Let it sit there for a minute or two, however long you feel you need, and it will clean the underneath of your mower deck. Now this is the part I really wanna talk about. This is the dual atomic blade system. So not only do you have your cutting blades, but you've got blades here that are going to, after cutting, going to mulch the blades up finer or the clippings of your leaves and that nature up finer which not only is gonna help add the nutrients back to your lawn, but if you're bagging, your bagger is gonna fill up way less quick compared to not having these atomic blades on there. Another good thing about this is it has the aluminum spindles. These are pretty much the same spindles you're gonna find on their commercial Turf Master unit. Then, another good feature of this is these blades also overlap. So they are timed, it is a timed system. So as you notice, this blade this blade overlaps so you will never have to worry about missing spots of grass in between your blades so i really only have two cons to this mower in my personal opinion one of them is being the gas tank size now you're going to get up to an hour of mowing depending on how fast you mow how slow you mow but this you're going to get about a third of an acre probably before it runs out of gas so if you have a third of an acre lawn you may be fine if you've got over that you may not like having to fill this tank uh, because it does kind of like the gas that is one of the main issues or cons i would say that i personally have with it but once again if you've got that third of an acre or less you probably ain't going to notice or even have any issues because you're only going to fill up one time during your mowing anyway now this will do up to a, an acre uh, you can actually do more than that if, if you're going to walk it hey it'll do it i'm pretty sure uh, but to me 
that's just one of my cons. I think everything has a con. That may not be a con to you once again, but that's just one of mine. Moving on, the mowing deck height. I love that it goes all the way up to four and a quarter, but each adjustment you do on this mower is only a, uh, well, it's a half an inch. So if you want to mow at four inches, you're not gonna be able to do that. You're going to have to go from three, uh, seven, five to four and a quarter or three and three quarters to three and a quarter. You're not gonna get the three inch, the three and a half inch, the four inch. Uh, so I wish that was one thing that this mower also had was them adjustments instead of having the three and a quarter, three and three quarters, I wish it went in the half inch increments, but from three, three and a half, four, four and a half being the highest, uh, all the way down to one and a half inches possibly, or even one inches. So that's just my personal opinion of some of the cons I personally find about this mower. All right guys, that's gonna do it for my review of the Toro 30 inch Time Master push mower. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are of this mower. Is this something you as a homeowner or a commercial guy would use? I will tell you, I have owned one of these in my business and it did just fine. So wet grass, dry grass, all kinds of different uh, types of, of uh, weather conditions as well. So thanks for watching guys. We will see you in the next one.